This is the first of two parts on installing the local history project database and this part will be installing the system which includes Firefox and WAMP. So I've I've got the um, distribution archive unzipped on my desktop and I'm going to go to the installers folder where I have the two applications that I want to install. And I'll start with Firefox. You just click on it and follow the instructions. And it's extracting. Get that going. Okay, now I'm getting a warning about allowing the program and I'm going to say yes. And now I can start my Firefox install. Next standard. Use it as my default browser. Yes, I'm going to install it now. And the system's installing Firefox. So these instructions are in the document software environment setup. And you can go ahead and launch Firefox now to finish it and make sure that it's running. You don't need to import anything because, in this case, it's a new install. There isn't anything to import. Okay, so now I have Firefox running. And I will make that smaller so you can see it in the Cam Studio browser that I'm using. So here's Firefox. It's running. So let's close that. We've got half of it done. Just going to quit out of that. Now the second thing to install is this WAMP server. So let's go ahead and install that. And there's a separate document about installing WAMP server that's just called uh, WAMP install. So you're going to go ahead and click yes to allow this program to be installed. Here's the WAMP server installation menu. Go ahead and click next. You want to accept the agreement, you click Next. You accept the default location, which is CWAMP, Next. And it says it already exists, would you like to install anyway? That's because I did a previous install here. And for the quick launch, you want to go ahead and create the quick launch and the icons and click Next. And here's your system is ready to install, go ahead and click Install. This is going to install the local web server and it's going to install the database which is MySQL and it's also going to install PHP which is the scripting language that this program uses. So after WAMP is installed you will have a local web server and the database and scripting language you need to run the program. And that's the whole system that we need except for installing the database which will be in the next the next instruction video. This one will just show you how to do Firefox and WAMP server. Okay, so we're almost done and it says do you want to go ahead and use Firefox as the default browser? You say yes. And would you like to install a new WAMP server homepage? Yes. I had one installed before I did this so I'm showing you a second time and it's replacing it with the new one. So it's finishing up and now it's asking you about the server parameters and it just says, you know, for your mail, what do you want? Go ahead and say next because this doesn't ma matter. We're not going to be using mail. And now it's all set. It's been installed and you just need to launch it to make sure it's running. And there's, there's two settings we need to change. Okay, it's asking for the um, security. Do you want to allow this program? Yes. And WAMP server is now trying to run. And you see down here on the bottom corner, there's this red dial. That means it's trying to start up. It says it's offline. Now it's yellow. That means the system has checked itself and it's now starting everything. And now it's white. That means everything is running. Okay? So you just, whenever you want to see the WAMP server, you just simply click on this once and you'll get the whole menu. And you can move your mouse up and down to see anything. You could you could restart everything or stop everything or 
you could look at the MySQL uh, database info or PHP info or the Apache info from here. So we're going to go into the PHP info and you see when I browse over it I get another sublist and I want to look at PHP settings and then we get this sublist. And there's two things on here we want to turn off. That would be display errors. So you go up there and click on it to uncheck it. Okay, now it's sort of stopping that service. And we'll go back to the taskbar, click on this, and we'll look at PHP settings again. And it, see it's turned that off. Now we're going to turn off display startup errors and click on that. Okay, so WAMP should be starting itself again. It looks white, it looks okay. And now PHP settings, we have both display errors and display startup errors are not showing. That is good. That's what we want. And now your system is totally installed. All we need to do now to show how it works is to launch Firefox. And once that launches, we will go to the local host server and you'll be able to see all of the services that we just installed running locally on your machine. Um, Firefox is still starting up. Okay, here's Firefox. Let's make this browser bigger so we can see a little bit more of the screen. Okay. And now all we need to do to make sure, you see, it's now looking on online at google.com. So we want to go to the URL bar and just erase everything and instead type localhost and then hit enter or return. And now you can see that WAMP server is running and it's running all these extensions. It's running PHP, it's running Apache, it's running all these extensions and it's running MySQL database and it's running uh, PHP info which shows you all the PHP services and PHP my admin which I'll just click on because this will be the database interface that we're going to use in the next video that's going to show you how to install the database. So as you can see it's launched the this is the PHP database interface and that's what we're going to be using. So that's it. Congratulations you've got WAMP server running. You can always check that by going here and seeing this white icon. That means the speedometer is white and it's running. So that's about it. We've successfully installed it.